Testing one one two one one two. I can hear and okay we're back up. I think I hope. OBS OBS got... decided to be uh, to, to decided to crash. Um, it's a perfect time too because we just got we. You, if all of those who don't want to see the intro and all talk about well guess what you're just going to miss it in this one. We're going to go straight into the game. Okay, I'll let them know where they can start. Yep. Uh, we are sorry, back. I am... Oh, and I see I see Jeff there too. Here we go. Let's pull him in. Jeff Sanders, Colonel Sanders, welcome. Hey, how good's this? Oh, hey. We're looking. Uh, we've got we've got bombers on more bombers. Empire on Empire. Good guy on good guy violence. Oh look, you know this is this is fantastic. Clearly, when too many bombers is never enough. Can I get you to start the timer, please? Yep. Sorry, I'm rocking on one monitor at the moment, so I am severely limited. Rookie numbers, man. Rookie numbers. <laughs> yeah, I'm no normally at three, but my HDMI cable broke and the other one's at work. Uh, there, there is a red bomber right underneath your face, your handsome mug. Um, but the yeah, time has started. They are on the roll. Now we recovered from the, uh, the crash. Hopefully there's only that one. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. yeah well, okay, so it looks like we've got the uh, the Type Punisher turning away. Um, I think going to go on the outside. Um, it looks like all the bombers are going to be turning in. And they're playing very cautiously. It looks like they're barrel rolling out to their side of the board. Just keeping their distance. Now, I mean, the... This is going to be a very, very cagey game. Um, I, I think the advantage, and please jump in if you don't don't agree with me, but having Trajectory Simulator on that Thai Punisher is definitely an advantage for Matt. Well, you're not only that, uh, I just want to also point out that the Bombers are Initiative 3 versus the Initiative 2 Bombers that James is rocking. So the bombers can initially kill the other bombers. Mm -hmm. um, the how that said, however, the inquisitor is going to move um, after the other three because um, uh, Matt has first player. Matt has initiative, so it's going to be a bit of a dance. I like to uh, look at these inquisitors going far straight and just boosting. I, think I mean, they've they've got proton torps. They proton they got proton rockets. Sorry, yeah, proton rockets. They need to be used to sort of balance things out a little bit. Yeah, and also also that uh, that red line that is not red line, the Thai bomber. No, sorry, Thai punisher. Ah, uh, it's, it's red line. It's red line in the guys. <laughs> oh, I hope not. But the the Thai the Thai punisher makes a good target for the proton rockets being on the medium base ship. So. Yep. Um, it gives them a chance to, you know, throw lots and lots of dice. Those two alone can throw you 10 dice. They get it off. And let's just switch that over. Okay. So, it's interesting though, he's put the um, the gunboat down, down the board. I think he's just, he's buying time for James to come to him. Yeah. So... I, wait, I think we're seeing two two different styles of play. Um, we're seeing a fairly passive start from Matt versus a fairly aggressive um, sort of wanting to joust start from um, I Love Cupcakes, James. Oh, yes. Yes, I love Cupcakes too. Um, so, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I love we're we're not really name. giving Jeff a chance to speak now that he's logged in and can actually view the game. <laughs> it's it's well, okay, did... you guys are doing a stellar job. <laughs> okay. I wanted to, actually, I did want to ask you, so how many people changed their list from week one? I hit on it just a little bit before the OBS crash that people uh, yeah. could change their list. So it's, it's around 50%, and what we've actually seen is a massive exodus away from Empire. I've actually got to say... I'm super surprised we've got two Empire lists tonight. Uh, you know, it's I think it's down to probably about uh, one-sixth of the total lists are now Empire. 
Um, so it's, yeah, was, the, you know, it was fifty percent, wasn't it? The first round. Yeah, absolutely. I, I warned you. I was like, oh, there's going to be lots of empire, and there was. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was fifty percent empire first round. I checked the numbers, and but because the um, uh, because Jeff has organised prize support based on not how well you do, how many different factions you fly, right? That we've seen a lot of people change to this to the second round. Um, so it's 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 really like really really uh, interesting to add that uh, diversity. So that's what I was curious to how many people have actually changed. About fifty percent. Yeah. So you know, and and I think that that's probably going to be, um, you know, enduring. I'd I'd almost expect that there will be a lot of people for our third round match uh, for next week, probably switching back to Empire, because uh, the whole reason for that was to. Uh, to give guys an opportunity to fly all the new ships. That's correct. That's correct. And just why you ra I raised on that point is, uh, one of the rules in the league was that you had to change to a different faction if you wanted to make a change to your list. So you couldn't just outright tweak your list. You had to switch off to a different faction, and then you could switch back. Um, yeah. So yeah, we could see. I think we'll see some more Empire next uh, uh, round three. And I've got to give Matt, uh, you know, a, a fair rap here. We have not seen enough Alpha class starships for my liking. You know, we we need more gunboats. <laughs> no, no, we don't. We don't need more hatchet men. <laughs> we do not need more hatchet men. I am sorry. Uh, I think I think the Inquisitor type of proton rockets are my favourite uh, ship for this faction. Um, uh, so, yeah. The bombers, we're seeing four bombers on the table, it's a little bit scary, especially that all of them have, uh, like, what's it, all of them have bombs and uh, skill bomber near? Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's really going to open things up. <laughs> mm. So it looks like we're seeing, did we see a slam there? It did a two turn plus a two turn? Two bank, two turn? Yes, because he has a weapons disarm token. Yep, but now he can still take a target lock. He can advance slam into a target lock. Here we go. Ah, so he's running uh, the OS1 loadout. Yep. Mm -hmm. And he's also got... Now, he's got advanced proton torch for range 1 stuff, but we've also got its um, uh, mag pulse. So if he gets some mag pulse off, it will jam them enough that they can't shoot the proton rocket and get a deplete. Yeah, so the, this is going to be dangerous for the these ties. Um, this is going to be very, very dangerous. Um, if they come in too aggressively, then especially this red one, um, he could potentially get a advanced proton torps to the face. Whoopsie! Sorry, guys. Uh, there, there, there we go. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Sorry. On camera, there we go, top down. I wanted to see the um, oh, so it looks like his barrel rod focus. There we go. That that yeah, could be, be interesting. that could be a proton rocket to the um, the type punisher. It's gonna be interesting to see whether or not red uh chooses to to maybe barrel roll out to the left as well just to try and uh get out of the way because it's he's about to eat something. Well, he's gonna eat, the thing is, he's only going to take up worse one damage because it's a mag pulse. Um, so, I mean, he would have ideally liked to focus boost into the bullseye. Um, however, it meant he would then eat an advanced proton torp. He doesn't want to do that. So, st sticking out there to range two just means that if that mag pulse hits, it's only going to be that one damage. Now, the dangerous part here, though, is. Um, we'll probably end up seeing a skilled bombardier drop next turn. Mm. Uh, it looks like we got we got oh, first damage, first blood on red. Red Ooh. bomber. Which also sorry, not, might... not a skill, not a skilled bombardier, a, a trajectory simulator. My apologies. Right. Um, can I get you to just quickly try and uh, add in color to the overlay? But the, yes, uh, I can try. The red, uh, the red bombardier has uh, the red. Gamma Squadron Ace has taken a damage, which is actually something. Sorry, we don't often see the Gamma Squadron Ace people when they take the bombers. They'll take either the the Scimitar Squadron pilots, the generic Initiative Twos, or they'll take some of the name pilots. Um, 
uh, the one with uh, Captain Jonas or something. So it's very interesting to see uh, the initiative threes in this list. I'm going to pick, make a note to pick Matt's brain about that. Okay, so here we go. Here comes the Magpulse into red. Shooting the Magpulse. Find chosen the one color that I struggle to find in brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like it's like a dark orange or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like I got that. Magpulse. Uh, does he have fire control on that one? He does indeed. So he'll just probably fire control that one. Uh, Oof, into a nothing. Plane. Just the two hits. Oh, we've got the force. Safe. Yeah, probably spending the force on that one. Yep. Yep. I did tell them I don't need to do it, but uh, they're doing it anyway, so thanks, guys. I do appreciate <laughs> it, even though they can't hear us. This means, oh, this means that the Proton Walker can go back into that uh, Alpha Class Darwin. Whoa. <gasps> It's bullseye, and it's not obstructed. Oh, that's only just bullseye too. Oh. Nasty, 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 nasty. Nice flying there by James. Now, thankfully, it is not double modded. No, but four, four out of five is good. I'd be happy with four yeah. out of five. Oh, 100%, but it is not double modded could be could have been a lot well not a lot worse but a little worse and that's all three shields down on the scimitar that sorry is. the cutlass wrong weapon <laughs> yeah we might have to have a chat to matt a little bit after the stream tonight to see if we can get him some thinner nubs so some what Thinner nubs. Oh, thinner nubs. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, sorry. Uh, it's one of those days. I worry about you, Nobby. Oh, I really I've had, worry I've had a about you. I've had a long day. We, we've all had a long day. Actually, I don't, I don't know. Jeff, how was your day? <laughs> uh, su super busy. Uh, yeah, making mats for players. Oh, boy. We, uh, we had this we had the sweatshop cranking them out today so that was good <laughs> oh another four dice proton rocket three hits and a crit and into double blank hey yes yes um, uh, hey guess what if you haven't started your clock thanks fish cake um, Odin come on your clock don't ah. forget your clock yeah boop boop as I said I've got one window. I'm not used to this. So sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing excuses here. Fuel leak. We got a fuel leak. We see it. How many minutes are we at? You'll have to check the clock. I've got. I've, I've got... We are uh, one hour, two minutes, thirteen seconds. Sixty-two minutes. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Sounds good. Yeah. And that row squadron lost that looks... all shields. Range and took the fuel leak. The front one is up actually just at range two. So we hit crit. Oh, hoo -hoo. James is rolling well. Um, but it's a range three shot back. Look at that. There's just something slightly off with, not slightly off, but it's just that they measured the arc in from the slightly inside the base. So sometimes you'll get that range two, range three, when it's just, just lined off perfectly. But hey, you get damage. Did a crit. Being a direct hit. Nice. Extra damage. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Now, Matt's in a really, really bad position because he's dealt no damage back. Yeah, 
Yeah, well, I'm sure he's probably going to want to uh, trajectory simulate something downrange. Um, That's another I'm crit. Not, I'm not entirely convinced he's going to have bombers to hit. <laughs> I'm, all, I'm just worried he's going to have the entire Punisher gun, by the way, he's taking. <laughs> what was that last crit? Fuel leak. So he's taking the direct hit and now into fuel leak. Only well two. It was range. No, it was. It was. Uh, that was because it was at range three. That shot was at range three. Hello, deadly pog. It is deadly pog. Isn't I'm alt tabbing in and out. Welcome. So, for those just joining us, we are in a uh, second round of the Australian Plastic Space Force. Um, and we're also joined by uh, Jeff Sanders, Colonel Sanders, um, who's the organiser for that event. So, so far, the, how has, um, how should I say, how has the non-Empire factions been performing? Uh, su surprisingly well. Uh you know, due to uh, magic that I'm unaware of, uh, it seems that most of the real spiky uh, Empire lists all played against each other in the first round. So uh, it's, it's sort of, yeah, it's sort of freed uh, freed a lot of the other uh, lists to get on with it. So it's it's actually been quite good. There's there's been some some good little lists come out of this. Uh, we, we saw a, a couple last week, and then we also saw a, a really good matchup on Saturday uh, between Ryan and Cohen. So. Yeah. There's some really good creativity out there. I don't is, believe you. Nice I don't believe that you say that you're not organising these matches because we saw, uh, just 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 for the audience, the first in round one we had Miramat. Basically, there was four people that were disgusting enough to bring Sloan to this kind of tournament, and they both got paired up against each other. So the Sloan on Sloan was were basically knocked each other out. So all the Sloan were facing their own Sloan, which is great. Um, and then you also had. Um, uh, the two teenagers paired up against in round one, so off to a nice good start. But then, but then this this second round, I decided to up up the ante and bring something truly. Well, I think it's truly disgusting, thanks to a uh, local player who's flown it and showed me how filthy it is. And then I get paired up against Actor. I mean, oh I, god, I, is I it five A wings? <laughs> no. Did someone show you five A wings? No, no, no. I'm flying a scumless. I'm flying you're, a scumless. You're like it's um, two G one A's and two party buses. With all with contraband cybernetics, was it Jabba Hutt and Tobias? So mm. I, I, I thought I thought you know what I got I got, I got a list for you guys, um, and uh, it's funny because Jeff was saying oh this is something he'd expect actor to fly, and then come up with pairings I'm suddenly faced with actor and I'm like oh this is this is this this feels too much rigging, this this feels this feels sus. Oh look, as as God is my witness, <laughs> I do not know how that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, uh, you know, it's true. There Apparently there's a wholesome setting in TTS uh, and Triple T that I'm unaware of, and maybe I've got it selected, I don't know, but I'm certainly not oh, yeah. manipulating yeah, any must, of the round draws. It's set up to like 11 at the moment because I just <laughs> laughed. All right, looks like Dyles has said we've got bombs going down. Well, we've, got, we've got everybody's now. So he's doing proxy mine. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, maybe he's a little bit concerned that he's going to get chased down by uh, Cut Price on here. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Cut price, shouldn't you? I love it. Surprise! We didn't see a trajectory sim bomb. Oh, look! I, I think he's probably thought better of it because uh, that would probably sail right over the top of those bombers. I think. Yeah, those uh, bombers. I don't think those bombers are going to be there. I mean, though, he did have the possibility of doing a trajectory simulate, a uh, trajectory sim bomb, and then just um, staying there to bump. But I think, yeah, he doesn't. No. Actually want to be there. I so I, I reckon if you trajectory simmed into a skill bombardier um, down to a four four straight um, you'd potentially end no up getting something well now we've got the uh, the do we have a rock check on that yeah we did um, yeah, he, he rolled he, he, he rolled for it but it was a um, yep, nothing blank. nothing no consequences it's Never like, any consequences. I'll tell you what, my last game too, I played, I played against Ryan. He went over the gas cloud six times, no, seven times in the game. He got strained on one chip. 
Sometimes you have just no, no consequences. Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So it looks like he's got a quit down there. The quit markers was for the fuel leak. Yep. And he decided not to. What move did he do? He did it. Two right bank. So, okay, he's kept the stress. He's slammed. Yeah, he's slammed. There we go. And then two left turn. He's not doing an advanced slam by the looks of it. So he's, he's set up the seismic to uh, to trigger that gas cloud by the look of it. This yeah. is, uh, is going to be interesting to see where the uh, Inquisitor ends up. Well, he's got he's got the choice of two of those. I mean, it looks like he's doing a barrel roll into target lock. Mm. Very interesting. Just quickly, what? He's building Cluster a nice cool box there. Okay, so they've got cluster missiles. I I am now now that I'm looking at it even closer, I, I am very very much disappointed that there is not a seismic charge right on top of that sim that green scimitar. That would be a absolutely beautiful, beautiful bomb drop. Well, unless that guy wants to barrel roll out of it, I'm tipping that he is most likely going to be, uh, you know, on the receiving end of something next turn, if the yep. Punisher can survive. Well, the the issue is the Punisher only has concussion bombs and seismic charges. Yeah, well, it has concussion um, bombs and, yeah, we... So we could the, drop the... Mm-hmm. So a seismic out of that Punisher would be fairly brutal next turn. Um, maybe, because it looks like that gas cloud is going to be destroyed this turn, though. Well, you can also do the bacon. Don't forget, he could do the bacon. Yeah. And then he's also, maybe. Got, the rock. He's also got the rock for next turn as well. I, I think that bacon may be just out. Could be. Could be. Ooh, so, cut price on to wanting to probably stay right about there. Maybe. Okay, do we, he can go four straight next, next turn. turn, but then I think we're going yeah. to see another proxy mine drop drop next turn. I think. I think. Red, I mean, red, cut, red cut price it. frontier. Cut price frontier could. Yeah, it's out of range. Yeah. Hey, hey, look! You got the two inquisitors. That's that's. That's what you want. That's what their hardest mm. ones to hit. Yeah, that's a good investment of three points right there. Mm. Just drop the shields mm. down on those inquisitors for me. Odin. Yep. Sorry, literally just trying to find the window. And it looks like we got the uh, Cynthia shot range three again. Just keeping his distance. Whoa. Whoa, 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 nope. whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's why you're dodgy. Uh, yeah, that's dodgy you're judge. Yeah, L is your favourite key, gentlemen. Oh, when you got the one hit coming in, you just decide to roll three out of your veins. Judge, judge. <laughs> My opponent is moving the obstacles. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just, just on here, he saw that. He can, he can DQ. Yes. Ah. Uh. I mean, it's it's just adding a little bit of real life X wing to to the digital game. That's that's the wrong way of looking at it. I mean, how how many times have we bumped um, asteroids, gas clouds, debris fields while trying to not even move past the debris field, but just knocking a ship into it by accident? Well, you know. With TTS, they're really trying to simulate everything. <laughs> yeah. 100% they are. Looks like more damage was dealt there, so I was, uh, didn't catch. Just tweaking your setting. It looks like there was one hit went through um, from James into that uh, red yep. bomb in here. Mm, so that was uh, a hit and a crit, and he got one evade. So Ooh, was that... into, a, into a hull breach. Ooh. 
whole bridge. That was into the into red one, wasn't it? Red the red bomber. bomber. Yep. Hull breach. No shots for that bomber. It looks like we're back to dials. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we're just seeing Matt not being where he wants to be. The James took such a really, really good and aggressive approach. Sorry, and I... it's just paying off for him. Can I get you to remove the dice from the dice box, please? Uh, yep, hang on. Swapping windows. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's you know he's got a real uh, comfortable lead off the off the start there with seventy six points. So, yeah. it'd be interesting to see whether or not Matt can can swing that momentum back. It's uh, it's going to be a bit of a mountain to climb because one of his his biggest pieces is you know literally bleeding out. Yeah, the uh, the uh, red line that's not red line uh, is on fire. Three health left. The good news is he's past the like I say initial joust side of things. Um, he does have that Inquisitor who's on the back side there. Um, but that said, I would expect to see... Um, uh, I expect to see a bomb drop this turn. Um, I'm hoping to see a, a, a cluster bomb... Oh, sorry, concussion missile. Um, where he swings around the rocket. Or possibly, possibly a seismic. It depends on what he wants to do. But he has, he has a lot of ships. He hasn't lost any ships. But he's had a lot of them spread out. Um... The, I do like where, where his bombers are. I think that red one's going to drop a proxy mine next turn. Or even a concussion bomb. He's going to drop something in there to stop him being chased and possibly catch that Inquisitor because um, the Inquisitor's got to go fast. So the, so the red Inquisitor's going to disengage. Yellow's probably going to keep on chasing. He's either going to turn away so the, the, um, the type punish is free or he's going to try and continue to chase. And if he continues to chase, he's going to hit that rock. So... This next turn, Matt's actually not in the too bad of a spot. He should be able to get a good couple the, of shots. Um, the issue is, Nobby, I, I don't think that Inquis the Red Inquisitor has to go fast at all. Um, it's moving after the bombers. Yeah, if he but... drops a proxy mine or a concussion mine this turn, um, that Inquisitor does, I believe their two hards are blue. The one heart. The one heart. The one heart? Yeah. yeah. Even better. He does a one heart and he barrel rolls out of it. And more than likely, he's got at least a shot on the yellow bomber. More than likely, he's got a really nice shot on the red bomber that has hull breach. Yeah, but the... Okay, here's the thing is, though, I think that, that hull breach bomber, the red one, will be going just fast enough to... Because he can... Okay, firstly, he can drop with the two straight, not the one straight, because he's got skill bomber here. But he can also just do a one bank or one straight and block any hard turns in by the Inquisitor. Um, he would also then, like, he'd, he'd, his biggest scare is going to be that um, the uh, cut, cut price soon tier coming up behind him. But the fact that he gets to drop a bomb there means that uh, he yeah. might, he'll take shots, but he's going to be dropping. Oh, here comes the first bomb. Here is the first Pringles. <laughs> Using the two bank. I just like how they've both got skill bomb here on their on their bombers. Nice. Mm. So that... Is that anticipating the turn in from the uh, the Punisher? I'll be interested to see if that yeah. Punisher doesn't K turn. Um now that's a, here's the other thing is too, like Matt is first player, so he should be the one dropping bombs first. Unless it's going up in initiative level. So I'll be very surprised if Matt does not drop anything this turn. Yeah, he, he would really want to skill bombardier a device uh, back to cut out that lane mm. uh, for the uh, interceptor coming in. Okay, here we go, here we go. So, uh, it looks like that's a concussion bomb. That is a concussion bomb. Yep. Um, from the uh, non-red line. Type Punisher. Yes, that's yeah. a great grey line. Grey line. Yeah. <laughs> and we're seeing the concussion line. bomb dropped <laughs> from the red bomber. Yeah, and that's in concussion, yeah. There you, go. you could just do like a one strike. Yeah, I'm. I'm not entirely sure that blocks, honestly. Okay. It, 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 yeah. 
Good move. Oh, that bomber went fast. Now because he, he probably hasn't got the room to barrel roll out of that either. He's taking the focus, so yeah. Yeah. And um, now that he's got the the Pringles have started, um, he's going to be dropping each turn. Ooh. So it's going to be tough for those Inquisitors who are normally knife fighters in general. Um, so taking a lock. Wrong bomber. Wrong oh, bomber. That one. Okay, that's right. Okay. So what are your thoughts? You, you think they're going to take a, uh, a face down and take a strain or, or cop crit? Pretty much. Because it's a bomber, yeah, I would say I would say they just take just take the strain. Um, they're they're normally tanky enough that they don't die. Um, with the two greens, it's just like they're rolling a blank. Oh, 4K. Yeah. He's probably probably wanting to get both guns on just in case he's going to pull that one hard. Oh. Yeah. I wonder. Not only that, on. but. Now that he's got that yellow bomber there as well, he can potentially drop Arrow. another. There we go. Ooh. There we go. That's it. And so that's going to block the um the hard one there from the Inquisitor, which is what he wants to do. And he's licking that in target lock. I like that. That's a nice, nice play there, Matt. I like that. I'm guessing the only thing that I'm concerned about at the moment is this um, alpha class is uh, I, I completely forgot about the slam. Ignore me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the slam. Yeah. But but reading your mind, I'm sure that you're about to say he really needs to get that uh, alpha class back in the fight. Well, he he's disengaging. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I. Hardly ever see the Alpha Class Star Wings on the table. I forget that they have a slam. Because oh, yeah. not very many ships have slams other than the fireballs that spring to mind. Oh, and the occasional yeah, poke. I say that's because you're only playing against my fireballs. Oh, no, man. actually, I, I say that because I played against TMT's fireballs. Oh, and TMT's fireballs, yeah. And there's a hard one block. So that's good because now he's, oh I think that it's it's hard to see but I think that um, concussion is just out of range of that. Oh, just good anticipation there for the uh, for the drop two out of the interceptor. Yeah, yeah he's picked it. He was expecting to see a proxy mine, I think. Focus boost, nice. Yep, oh, nice. He's going to be able to get a range three shot on that um, whole breach bomber. I think um, Faux Sontier has also threaded the needle between those two concussion bombs. Yeah, looks like he's out. Look at that. Nice. So he's taking One damage on the screen. Just taking damage. That's on the green one. Yeah. Oh, they just Somebody. undid a move. Judge! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it looks like that Inquisitor is safe. Yeah. Faux Sontier expertly threading the needle. Mm. I think he's going to have, yeah, just a range 3 pot shot there. Now, this is still very dangerous. Yeah, because we've got a hole breach. So every hit's going to be. We have every, a hole breach. Every hit's going to be a crit. Oh, and he's got the focus. He's going to spend it. Is he going to spend it? I think he would. Uh, all day. I think he would. Go for it. Choose violence. You can just outright kill him. Got to risk it for the biscuit. He's got yep. to spend. Picking up I the think, focus. I think he's worried about yellow. He's not being greedy. No. No. no he's, he's not. Okay. <gasps> oh. Oh, he. Good anticipation there. Pre -pre he, he knew it. He knew it. He yeah, knew that if he spent it, he's gonna. No, he's gonna just roll through now, Dave. 
See, this is oh. clearly Suntier before he was Suntier. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's Fo Suntier. Fo Suntier. F A U X. Fo. Oh. Suntier Fo. <laughs> so we got we got a. He's gonna. Well, he can shoot the Inquisitor actually, but I think he hasn't got a lock on anything, has he? He does. Gamma Squadron Ace. Oh, he actually has a lock on the um, Inquisitor. So yeah, he's going to shoot the Inquisitor there with, uh, I think it's Cosmic Missiles. Three dice. Uh, red, yep, would be Cluster Missiles. He just needs one to get half points. No fire control, but you got a lock. Spend it, spend it, spend it. No. Just two. Shouldn't have spent it. Every, every re-roll he has had has resulted in a blank. And spends yeah. the force and is safe. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. That's a little rough. A little rough. And who are you going to shoot? You do the bomber? Go on the bomber. Who's got the lock on the bomber? Number two, the other one. So he's so he trained as well. Yeah, I gotta say, yeah, go go shoot that one because you can do cluster missiles. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know what you got. Cluster missiles is on the strange ship, and then you can also do a bonus attack on the uh, non tier. Don't spend it. Don't spend, spend, it. spend, no, spend it. it. Spend it. Don't listen. I don't spend it. Choose violence. There we go. A little bit of extra love and attention. Oh, well, three hits. That's half half points on the on the bomber. So hey, that's congratulations, you know, man. That's yep. points. That is points. And now uh, I think you'll now be able to do cluster missiles if you wanted to on the other one. There we go. Yes. Two. Uh, I didn't need to focus. He was safe. Two dice, no mods on two greens. There we go. Just the one, because he spent the force. Safe. He got it. Yeah. With the whole breach, that's what you want. Yeah, can't spend the force. He's already spent it this turn. Yeah. Nothing for the you. There you go. So that's, uh, he has got any uh, munitions on that one, right? No, it's just going to be two and three. Okay. Ooh, oh, hit you take that too. Whoa, guess what? That whole reach did nothing. He takes good anyway. <laughs> What's damage? Loose stabilizer. Oh. I guess he's going straight. Ah, uh, he could do about. I mean, I, I mean, wait, that was that was on yellow, was it? No, 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 no. no, no that, yeah. was that, was red. Red. that was on red. That was red. That was red. He's just placed it on yellow. Okay. Yeah. So just... uh, you know, red's red's slowly running out of hole. He's uh, he's taken four. So, you know, what do we got here? We've got uh, what two are left? Yep. Yeah, this is going to be a four dice defense. Range three through a cloud. Four die defense. Well, three die defense because of the. Oh no, that's a stress, not a strain. That's a stress. Yeah, that's a stress. Why did they ping that then? I think I pinged the ship. Just let us know. Odin is very, that. very confused. And Gaff Cloud, he's safe. Is that, is that the last shot? That is yeah, indeed is. the last okay. shot. Safe as a storm betting in our grand final. I gotta say, I think that red bomb has gotten off very lightly. Um, well, let, let, just... let's see. I, I'm half expecting him to do a um, banked manoeuvre into take the damage, hold breach, direct hit, dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lovely bedtime for you kids. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he 
it, it could. They could do it. They could. I, they could I, I would love to see it. I would. I would love to see it. I, I, I kind of also wanted to see him just do like a straight and then just block off that Inquisitor. What he can do in the Inquisitor. Um, because the Inquisitor's three, he's three, so he's going to die, but he'll get a shot off on that Inquisitor at the same time. I mean, not if, if he's blocked. That, well, if he he's blocked that Inquisitor. Is, if he, just do like a one straight. Don't fully block him, but just prevent him. If he does a hard one, then he's going to be trapped. He's got nowhere to barrel roll. On top of that, if yellow drops a bomb right there, and then have red just go up and go, you know, I'm going to take that bomb. And you're going to be directed as well anyway, too. You know, with the whole bridge. Oh. But the Alpha class Star Wing is not in the best spot at the moment. It's simply because he's stressed. So he has to do like banks to clear that stress. I mean, he could potentially do a two, two straight and then slam in to try and get that uh, yellow Inquisitor. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's, uh, that's the limitation of the hole. Like they really do turn like a boat. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you're not going to be, you know, getting around. It's almost taking him three turns to get back in the fight. Well, no, it, he didn't even get a shot off. He got, no, he did get one shot off. He got one mag pulse off. Um, but yeah, he's been he's been spending the, the turn because he decided to keep him disengaged from that second turn. He's now and then he basically had to go straight and then do a hard turn. He's and now that he's also opted to take that lock on that turn to do the same, that he does not have good options for this turn. It might have been better if he just he just did the slam but not advance slam, just to prepare him for the next turn. I think oh that's right he took the, he did take the lock on that bomber on sorry on the yellow inquisitor so that's probably why he wasn't sure he was going to catch yellow inquisitor so here we go we've got is that seismic oh he's trying to get that rock I think he wants to get the rock and catch um, the Thai Punisher here's the bombs. Yep, that was always going to happen this turn. We call that. I, I would like to see the two straight from the red bomber. Well, that's it. I, would, I want to see him um, even just do a one straight. No, I, I think the two straight blocks the one hard that would avoid that proxy mine and cause him to land on it. But that's it. Um, I don't think it would, would cause him to land on it, you think? No, no, I, I, the one hard will avoid it, but I think if the red bomber does a two straight, it's not going to land on it, but it will bump it in such a way that the Inquisitor will probably land on that proxy mine. Try, try and get a bit of a lip overlap and, uh, and force him yep. on, you think? Yep. Mm. It's always interesting seeing bombing lists. Well, you know... To be fair, we, we don't really see a whole lot of that in the meta, you know, no. it's really kind of dropped off. Uh, we've seen a little bit more of it recently in, uh, like, anti Nantex builds, but really, mm -hmm. uh, bombs don't get a lot of play, and, you know, I'm, I'm glad both of these guys have bought some stuff. Yeah, I, think I, I just mean, e even when you do see bombs played, you don't see bomb v bomb very often. <laughs> no. I just also want to note, make a note there that the... Um... Which we call it? The red line attempted to drop a um, concussion bomb, but it was off the board. So even though he was he he must do it, he attempted to do it, failed it, and he gets it back. So he he's technically not dropping it, and simply because he can't. Um, he probably could if he did a one straight, but he elected to apply the skilled bombineer to it. Oh, and look at this! He's choosing violence. He's just did a boost in there. He likes to live dangerously, old James. Uh, and, and I think Matt's going to accommodate him there. <laughs> bold, bold strategy, Cotton. Let, let's see if it pays off. <laughs> so, is he taking... Is that a boost into a lock? Yeah. Yep. Is that legal? Is that legal? It is legal. You can do a boost into lock. You can do boosts into locks. Okay, I'm 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 so used to redline just doing a boost and getting a free lock, so I wanted to clarify it was. Tis indeed legal. Um taking a page out of the E wings. Let's get a 
got a top down there. Oh. Yeah, now this is going to turn into Pitt Street on a Friday afternoon. We are going to have absolute traffic jam here in a minute. Hey, traffic jam can be really <laughs> bad when there's bombs involved. And here we go. What's that? Was it the one straight? That's the one yes. straight. Uh, now, if yellow can survive, he will be in a prime spot to, I mean... Drop I think a proxy. Actually, yeah, to drop a proxy. Now, I'm just, uh, just looking. He is... That red would be blocked from a Talon, two Talon, on the Inquisitor. Oh, and look at this. Look at this, he's taking Tiger Lock. He's going to go, you know what, I'm going to shoot you. Well, he's got to shoot something. Actually, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. Okay, I, I like this play. Do the two bank, clear the stress. Do the two hard into... Um, Trying to start chasing and getting into a better position to. No, he doesn't oh, no. do bank. He do bank, bank. Now, bank. If that's the case, I hope he does not do advance slam. Just, just, yeah. just, just stay there. Leave yourself the option to do a two turn next turn. You're too far away from the fight. I, I actually thought he was going to do a two hard then. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see the two hard there as well. Yeah, he's boosting into focus. Oh, and look at that. Yeah. So the good news, the good news is Inquisitor is not going to be able to shoot yellow. But jump, jumping that extra base, base length forward would have just been icing on the cake. Yeah. Yeah, no, that... Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. You know, if it was one forward, he would have copped the corner. Yep. Um, really, really easy. I, I just want to just want to point out to anyone who's watching. That's really easy for us to say. Um, we're not in the game. We get to see that data after the bomb's been dropped. Mm -hmm. The players have to make that decision before seeing the final position of that proxy mine. Oh, look, 100%, I would have flown off the board by now already, so uh, these guys have done an <laughs> incredible job. Hey, well, you know me, I, I have flown off the board on these events, so... But I, I, I just, wanna, just wanted to point out to anyone who's watching who's like, ah, oh, that, that's obviously the right move. It, it's very, oh, very hard. I just want to say, the, he chose in Seismic on that rock to do one damage to um, the Thai Punisher. But in exchange, he's also taken a damage on his cut by Shuntia. Well, so he's got an option to initiative kill this um, red line. Oh, he's going to he's going to spend to do that. He is a three. Well, that's that's a no, dead. It should only be one. It should only be one. It should only be one. It should be one green. That's a dead, dead, dead. Um, it doesn't matter. It does. It, it, it realistically doesn't matter because even if he rolls the evade, he still dies. Yeah. 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 Dead, dead, dead. He's still dead. Dead, 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 dead. Wow, he has literally got all the cards. So it just means he takes one extra damage there. Yeah, now I might actually have to uh, reread my prize document as it's not clear to me whether or not Matt thinks that I'm giving out a prize for the most uh, cards used in a game. <laughs> um, are, are you giving out the most card? Are you giving out a prize for the most cards used in a game? I, I might have to check that. Because <laughs> if you are, I would not be surprised if you see a um, eight fireball oh. list at some stage. No, you can't because you only have two ships of each chassis. Yeah, but Matt is eating these cards like I eat cupcakes. He is absolutely smashing through them. So, so you love cupcakes as well, do you? Oh, look, it's a thing. <laughs> there you go, two and three. Oh, nothing. That's a sad. That's sad. Suntia, Suntia Junior is happy. Fo Suntia, Fo Suntia. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We get cluster missiles, I think.
Here we go. Yep. Lusters! Oh. Oh, we got luck. Spend it. Spend it. Spend it. Yep, he's choosing violence. <laughs> yes, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Hit, hit crit. That's, that's, that's the target lock you want to roll. Hit crit. That is on, that's on brown. So that's half points on brown. That's more points. What's he got? You'll leak. A uh, relic. Eh, it's... The third fuel leak oh, we've okay. seen this game. Yeah, look, uh, you know, Matt's really going to have to get that alpha class in there. Uh, you know, he's, he's only got 24 minutes left. That guy's got to start doing some work for him. We, we need the hatchet, man. He's just swinging in there, getting range one. Oh, one hit. Does he get the does he get the squirrel? He gets the squirrel. No whole breach. Oh, actually, I lied. Actually, the whole breach is on the red one. Yep. This is this is the one that could hurt. Silly knobby. <laughs> oh, here we go. Does he ever focus on that guy? He does not. Oh, he does. He does. He does. He did the blocking. So, come on, red. He boom, boom. <laughs> bow, bow. The first one's going to be directed anyway. Flip them both over. It's a console fire. It's... No. That's not how Hull Breach works. What's that? Oh, he tried to flip over the Hull Breach again, did he? He flipped over the Hull Breach. That's a whole lot of damage. Another range one. Oof. Three hits into yellow. Uh, looks like ten more damage for yellow. So that's uh, the first damage now done to uh, the yellow bomber. Still there, Odin? Yep. Sorry? Hang on. I, I was fixing up the whole breach issue with them. No worries. Oh, we got Taco. So, which oh, bomber okay. took what now? Uh, sorry, I'm just getting a... Taco's sending me stuff for, for our next game, ready to go. I was wondering what the funny sound effects were. I thought it might be you doing the um, sad type bomber noises, but it was something else. Um, so yeah, I think yellow took two damage there. The yellow bomber. For your overlay, Odin. No, hang on. Working, working on things. Trying to swap through. Wait, the yellow bomber? Ah, okay. I, I done goofed. Good evening, TMT. TMT just joined us. Yeah, a bit of a terrible night so far for uh, for Matt. He's had his second ship get into the showers early, uh, already back in the sheds. So he's only uh, really batting on two more ships, and, and one of which which is just really out there collecting frequent fly miles. <laughs> I couldn't say that better myself. Uh, that is very good. New, uh, uh, a very good description. He's just been slamming all over the place. Um, he's he's had one shot. The gunboat has had one shot with a magpulse. I think I think he's sitting there and just trying to make them think that he's uh, not a threat. I think we're going to see maybe something like a two a, a two turn slam three bank into a range one shot on something. Oh, TMT has announced he is going to be flying fireballs next week. Yep, called it. Can he can only have two? He can't have eight. Okay. Ah, uh, he'll he'll find a way. Mm. At least one. Now, I, I, my money is that yellow's going to drop a proxy mine. What does does yellow still have any proxy mines? Yep. Uh, yes, because red yes. red dropped one. Yes, yeah, red dropped one. Yes. So, I mean, we could see double hits uh, in the proxy mine, and then that inquisitor just dies. Yeah, he would be crazy not 
but Warhead's on four heads right about now. He really needs to drop that, otherwise, you know, yeah. he is out in terms of points. Okay, we get some good 44 points. Um, he's still got a bit of work to do. He's got to get, he's got half points on that bomber. But at this point, he's, he, there's no real big target. He's got to get, He's got to get something big, something juicy. Yeah. You see how the, the other inquisitors are there with the with the gunboat. Here we go. There it is. I think I think that's a hit. I think that's a hit. So that's one damage guaranteed. And just the crit. Hey, this could be a direct hit though. So shields done, and then a. What was that? It's a wounded pilot. So red is down to one. Just the uh, oh, he's reloading concussion bomb. Cheeky. If yeah, I don't want to drop it, I don't want to drop it next turn. So I'm just going to reload. And uh, that's one of many examples of how you can do the drop stop. Oh yeah. So I lied when I said you um, uh, you can't stop. Oh oh, I want him to see him do a barrel roll. Barrel roll, block that inquisitive. Get out of that arc. Come on. You are going to go over the rock next turn. I know. And can I also have you um, just remove those dice, the red dice from the the box, please? Do, do, do. We should be getting Jeff on dice duty. Yeah, yeah. You want to give me a promote, and uh, I can do the most important thing I've done on it. You just need to drag them into the bins. <laughs> but I'll give you a promote anyway. I'll give you I'll give you a promote. Cause I'm a nice guy. Ooh. Did he want to barrel that way? I think he wanted to barrel the other way. No, maybe he did. Maybe he's hoping that the one hard will... Okay. There is a three turn. And we're going to see a slam. Uh, good to see Gorse or uh, has arrived in the chat after a busy day in the GSP stream. <laughs> I'm glad he joined us. So it's good morning. So what, uh, what time is it in the morning? That's what I want to know. Because we are hitting, well, it's 9 p.m. for me. It's what, 10 um, p.m. for you? I, I just do like beer for breakfast. The, the classic Aussie saying is it's 10 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's always a good time for I coffee. Thought, so I thought it was 8 o'clock somewhere. Well, you know, daylight savings being what it is, you know, seems fine. Yeah. Uh, 7 a.m. Good time. Look at that. Good time. I'm just curious to where the viewers, people tuning in, what time it is. Nothing like uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, right? Beer's like beer, coffee, yeah. <laughs> beer is better than coffee. It is. It's. It's. And that's, that's actually twelve hours off from Singapore. Singapore is at uh, seven p.m. at the moment. Uh, and Timmy Tanks picked up on the uh, on the thread as well. I thought it was five. Oh. Well, that would be that would it be Timmy be. if you were classy. Um, clearly, we're Australian. Uh, no, I just yeah. That 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 uh, Inquisitor just disengaged. He's just like, I'm out of there. Yeah. Not 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 only is it. Classy. If we also weren't living in the era of COVID, mm. um, you, you got to give us some slack. So now here's the thing. He did a slam, took a focus. So it looks like he's going for the Inquisitor. I would be tempted to take a target look on that other bomber just so I could do it the mag pulse and jam off that focus. So it would protect the uh, yellow bomber somewhat. Uh, don't forget the bombs go off. The bomb, oh, was that seismic? 
Magpulse, here we go. He's going for Magpulse. So it's going to be a, a three on four because it's constructed. Yep. He does have fire control. Also got two crits. Such a he's waste. Spending, oh no, he's doing, he's doing, he's spending the focus. Yeah. yeah. That's all you needed. That's what you needed. Uh, does only take a shield off though. Oh no, 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 no. That was an evade. Oh. And has the evade. evade. Okay, so no, he was like, no, I'm not going to take it. No shots. Looks like we just have that bomber. Just that one bomber. Hey, just take someone. Yeah, now not not bad rolling there, not bad at all. Mm -hmm. So just one crit there on your life. Why, why is he rolling? Oh, that is a very good question. Yeah, he rolled three to green. He did roll three green, so I should have caught up on that. And that's a direct hit. Into a disabled power regulator. Mm, so deadly uh, Korg's asked, why was why was there three greens rolled? Yeah, he he didn't. He re, he re rolled them in two. He re rolled two. Wait, he rolled one. Into a re weapons failure. I am confused. Um, because there was two crits. Okay. I rolled two crits, one hit. So he evades one hit and then takes two crits. First yeah. crit being a direct hit, and then the second one being a weapons failure. So yellow is uh, giving up the full Bon Jovi. He's living on a prayer. Uh, let's see if I, I feel, feel like Matt's Matt's living on a prayer at the moment. Yep. Uh, I think they're back to the arms now. So to answer the question of why he threw green green, why he threw three greens is he cheated. But he 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 caught himself out and rerolled it. No, we didn't. We didn't actually. He he caught the mistake before he um before we hit him up on it. So no penalty point has been awarded. James is uh one forty nine to fifty eight. Twelve minutes left on the clock. He's got <laughs> he's got four hit points left on his two ships. So I will yep. say this: the um. James's list has been very meaty, very uh, tanky. A uh, lot of lot of hole to go through. Um, Matt, while similar, is substantially less because um, he yeah. basically Matt yeah. Matt has four hole left. Yeah, but what I was trying to say is that even though he's got two bombers, he's got two. He's got a bit of a meat, but his his meat selection is a lot smaller. And I'm not, not trying to consume anything. So the um. The, 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 the beef part of his list is much smaller in that... <laughs> okay, let's try a third time. <laughs> his HP part of his list is a lot less versus what James has. And when James... Basically, his small agility is two. He's got two bombers, right, which are the, 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 the beef part of the list. And he's got three, like, uh, three agility ships. Um, you know, the Inquisitors being on three agility and the uh, Saber Squad being three agility means they're also very hard to hit. Um, and so they've been tanking quite a bit, whereas Matt had a um, Thai Punisher, which is one agility ship, that just melted under the fire. Um, so he lost a big chunk uh, of his beef early on, and then the other ones are about to go as well. And then all that's left is a gunboat that just, as, as you said, just wants to fly around and hasn't has had two shots the entire game. Um, he hasn't bought the, the, the front-end damage that, that that has potential for the points of SDD, there's got 50 points on that gunboat, and he hasn't really been able to commit to making good use of that 50 points. So that is kind of why we're at a position where we are now. Um, it's just that uh, James has been able to consistently throw dice at Matt, and um, oh, here we go, a concussion bomb, because he has to.
Now, MOV does matter for the for the league, doesn't it, Jeff? Uh, well, yes, absolutely, because it will have a bearing on the overall results. So, uh, while flying varied lists uh, is important, it also couples together with your overall standing. So, you know, if, if you uh, end top of the league and you've only flown one list, well, no, no prizes really for you. You get a card. <laughs> you get so, a card. <laughs> As, yeah. as and, if, and if I and if I fly one list and I come last, I also get a card. Mm. But if you come last and play six lists, you get seven cards, an acrylic, uh, and, and a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of reputation for being awesome. Oh, okay, excellent. Yeah, and I have some cards with me here, and um, that 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 you have sent off, and I'm going to get them out to some of the parties. But we, um, I'm going to plan on giving one set away. Um, when we get towards the later rounds of the Australian Plastic Space Force. So we've got some over here. Really cool. They are like a... Um, very nice. They are like a hard plastic. Okay, I could put them in my teeth now. But I'm not going to do that because, you know, uh, your mouth is only for your dice, not for your cards. Yeah, it's, it's the best dice roll you can possibly get <laughs> next wing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> no, you can't. Oh, why did you leave? Sorry, sorry. So, what are you saying? Why did you leave one without an escort? It's usually a dead problem. Yeah, and that's what. That's pretty much what we're saying. James had had good escorts, and they they, they were hard hitting escorts too because they had the proton rockets, and he got both of them off in that first first engagement. So that's why he had that such big violent damage going off onto um, uh, the uh, grey line. I think we were were calling him, weren't we? Yes, yes, that is yeah. the uh, yeah the, the cheaper version of Redline. It's the uh, Redline rookie. <laughs> Redline rookie, love it. Now we, we've got this Alpha class. He's managed to finally get a lock off. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if we're going to see the advanced proton uh, get yeeted into the side of that interceptor. Um, he's got if he, if he does a hard two and bumps, then that's going to be um, a very sad interceptor, a very sad wannabe frontier. But I think either if he does a two bank or anything else, he won't be blocked. Yeah, it should be should be clear depending on where he goes. Uh, give a moment of truth, Shane. Ooh! I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> now, he, okay, just just quickly, just for those who don't know, he's got the advanced proton torps. He's going to be rolling five dice. He has fire control system, but he cannot spend that lock. So, oh, oh, maybe because they, he put the delayed fuse on it. No, because that was there from before. Wasn't it there from last time? Um, let's see. Or is that from Brown? Yeah, I think it was there from last time. Oh, he's, he's taken the strain and gone for the face down. Okay, that's fair enough. I saw a bomb in there earlier and I thought it was from la, from um, previous turn. Oh, it's okay. Yes, that's going to be problematic for him out of that yellow interceptor. But we'll, we'll see how he goes. He's, he's really got to put in some damage here. Come on. Five dice. I have faith. Yep. AV2. We know it. Bring, bring forth the pain. Two. FCS. Fire control. Three. And then Six. one of those for advanced proton. So flip yep. flip the uh, hit to a crit. That's correct. Yeah. The, 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 the there we go. He's going to be. It should be a crit. He hasn't changed it, but uh, it's not going to make a difference. Just one crit. It's damage engine. Oof. So it could well That's turn right. into the Benny Hill show here because he's not going to be able to turn out. So it's going to be straight down the board, uh, potentially with a, an Alpha class straight up his Jixi. Yeah. And the Alpha class can actually reload. He could um, go in and do a, a um, uh, how to say, he can do a blue a two bank and then just reload and still get a shot off. Oh, so here's that interceptor. Oh, sorry, the uh, Inquisitor shot. It should be two green. Oh no, he's got the strain. Oh no, right it's strained. Yeah. So that's, that that's, is, that's dead. That's gone. 
because he uh, caught one from the bomb first. Correct, and then um, and then two more there. So I think he's dead. And just one hit, one hit left on the bomber. Fairly sure we can. Not not exactly safely, but almost confidently call it a, that that bomb is dead, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Well, the game we kind of called it like uh, about 15 minutes ago. It was just a question of um, when, uh, yeah, uh, how how much longer he can he can uh, survive in here. So can I get you to remove the dice again? Yeah, oh no, it's gone. Thank you. Whoever did that. So one hit point bomber versus all of Matt's. Oh, sorry, all of James's ships. Now my prediction is, I think he's going to die this turn. He, he's dead, Jim. <laughs> Does he have any bombs left? I see. I see. He's got one yes. cost to himself. One proxy and two concussions. Oh, he's got a proxy as well. Wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. No, two he, concussions. He, he's got two concussions. There we go. Take that. He's saying, I'll take that. Yep, I'm going out, but you're going to lose some paint with me. <laughs> well, he needs he needs one more in yellow to get half points on that Inquisitor. He's just to the barrel roll out. Into target setting, lock. Yeah, setting up that kill box. What we're going to see is he's going to nanny evade everything and he's going to be alive for another turn and another drop. Oh, he didn't even flip. And just to add salt into the wound there, uh, he has weapons failure. So even if he shots, he's throwing back one dice. That's all you need. One dice, and, he, a, one dice and a dream. Yeah. <laughs> he actually he tried to do a barrel roll and failed. So... Oh no, there we go. He does actually fit. It was, it was a barrel roll back. Yeah, well the Interceptor's going to be going straight anyway. There he is. The red one um, going in, choosing violence. Yeah. Who's got focus? Gorsha, I, I, I have to say, I, I'm sorry, I've only really just flicked across to Twitch chat. I'm only on one monitor today. Um, didn't know that you spoke Australian. <laughs> um, Fosses is indeed Australian for goat piss. <laughs> what was that? What was that dice roll for? Oh, that was for wounded pilot. And so he boosted, takes a stress, no focus, but he does a force. Oh. We gotta wait for the uh, Inquisitor. Ooh, he might get half points on this guy. Boost into focus, so that's stress, but I mean, it's not like there's gonna be another turn after this. Ooh. And just did a uh, four straight out of there. Actually, it was a five strike. To be fair, it wasn't even a four strike. It was a five strike. Oh, he gets both. Look at that. He... That is oh. a dead run. Oh. Oh. oh, MVP in the chat. Let's hear oh. it. Um, does the concussion mine bypass shield? It does. Yes, it does. Straight Ooh. under. Yes, it's actually Ooh. a damage card underneath the shield, and uh, it has to take a strain or have to flip it. Ooh. So that that becomes half points there on the Inquisitor. That's why A-Wings don't like it. Two concussion, concussions and they're out. Oh, I think he's dead. I yep, think he's dead. dead. I think he's dead. No, nope. cannot roll three squiggles on two green dice. Unless he pulls a Fred Flintstone yabba dabba do thing. He's gone. Well, what a good guy. All right. Let's pull him in the chat. Yeah, wait, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. Like I guess it was it was interesting. Um, that 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 last concussion though, I think was it was uh, was it was very very juicy. 
getting the um, getting the kill on the Inquisitor. I got one ship. That was all I needed for tonight. <laughs> But yeah, what Mac, did you say? The chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one left hit life hero. I was pretty proud of him. He did do. I got to say, it was still a good play. I, I think uh, I really got to say, uh, James did a great uh, job in lining up those um, proton rockets. Got both of them out first turn. Yep. Very nice. Uh, and I might also add, you got uh, four hits on both of them. Yeah. Which, hey. which was really nice. Really nice. Just there to just there to launch off. Yeah, I tried to dodge that, early but damage. Uh, just not enough cloud there. Yeah. Hey, and Matt, I'm really interested to hear your strategy on your Alpha class. To you, um, you know, you got him busy early with that uh, with that mag pulse, uh, but then he, he tended to kite around the side of the board uh, a fair bit. Uh, what were you sort of trying to uh, to get him to do for you? Uh, it's probably a getting turned around was the main problem so it's um just keeping the pressure on it i was hoping that mag pulse would at least keep my other ships alive but um both rolls i got didn't really get through but he had good agility and defend so i can't blame dice yeah. uh what was the i was going to ask you what was your decision about taking the initiative three bombers over the initiative twos i didn't know what my competition was going to be, but um, I was going to try and barrel roll the target lock. It was only two more in terms of points on each one, and I thought four points was still a healthy bid, but um, obviously not. Okay. No, it also means that they were less likely to be initiative killed, and uh, at least they'd get their shots off being initiative three. Um, yes. Yep. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, I guess especially in this format, so because for those that don't know, they can only take one initiative four uh, in the in their list. Um, of no heroes, so it stops there to being a mass swarm of uh, fours. Um, I've got to say, uh, the, there was some good use of the uh, skill bomber here, and your proxy mines too. You actually got some 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 damage there with the dropping the proxy on on that red inquisitor, who actually, just for the record, he he took all his damage from bombs. Mhm. Mm yes. <laughs> yeah, two concussions and the proxy mine. There you go. Best yeah. way to, uh, the best way to, to, to blow up a uh, three agility ship is don't shoot it, just drop bombs on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a practice match, um, we found there wasn't enough uh, firepower going through, so we changed the list last minute to get rid of, to add concussion bombs and uh, uh, torpedoes onto the Alpha class. So yeah. it still wasn't enough, but um, yeah, bombs kept me in the game, I guess, somewhat. Okay. Definitely. And so, James, James, you mentioned too that you flew this list in the week one. Yeah, yeah. So no, no change. Do you think you can continue this list for week three? Uh, I'll, I'll change it. I'll probably try and figure out something with separatists, just for just with the shits and giggles of it. Mm -hmm. Um, but well, yeah, because no, like, I do know that you're normally a separatist player. Yeah, and yeah, it, and they're really in... hit hard by the format. They are. They are. Well. Yeah, I think they have enough ships there now. I, I, I like personally. I'm already looking at building a separate list. I, uh, no, no, no big secrets that I'm not flying resistance, and I'm actually planning on flying uh, one of each faction. I'm going to maybe flying a separatist list, but I think between the two I... of the bomber droids, two of the regular droids, and two of the new gunboats, those six no, ships would give you enough diversity. No, but you're not flying five A wings. Is just horrifying. Oh, don't worry, I'm not flying any resistance this this, this leg. I banned myself from doing this. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're moving actually, away uh, from scum. Huh? I did have. Yeah, oh, I've got scum next week. Don't worry, I'll scum. I'm, no, I'm no, no, day, full, full, no, 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 no. You're going to the the original wholesome scum. You're leaving the old style, old school 1.0 scum behind. Mm, no, scum is still scum. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway. And, and how about yourself, Matt? Where where do you, uh, you think you're going to from here in terms of lists? Are you going to potentially stick with this one, or are you you may be looking at something else for round three? Nah, I'm uh, attracted to the prizes, so I'm going to try a list every round. <laughs> good man, good man. <laughs> That's the way to do it. I've already, I, I don't know, like I've, I looked at the first week of lists and I've gone, I like this list, I like this list, I put it down. Um, 
there's there's plenty of stuff to choose from so yeah it, it's and, yeah and that's a big thing with uh this particular league you know we, we're not really encouraging plagiarism at all in fact we're trying to discourage that however open theft is absolutely fine <laughs> so, so, you know, so yeah, so long as you're open and honest about it? it? No, no. It was all your idea first. That other guy <laughs> that you stole it from is trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. Love it. All right. Um, well, good. Well, congratulations to James. Nice. It was nice flying there. Um, uh, Matt, well, don't worry. The, the, you guess what? If you fly a different faction every week, you're going to be a winner. Exactly. I had fun. James, yeah. uh, it's a class act. Yeah, definitely, man. Like, yeah, moving moving first is is hard, especially uh, especially because I've got ships that can bump into you and stuff like that, man. So you did you flew really fucking well to kill the Inquisitors. Mm. I was wondering at first whether that would be the Inquisitors' weakness was if you could move first, bump them, and stop them gaining the focus, but um, just didn't really get a good setup. Yeah. Um. Yeah, ultimately it was a really interesting game to watch. Um, it's very, very unusual to see bomb v bomb lists. Um, that wasn't pretty new meta. It could be this meta for this format. I think I think it's great. I think it was cool. And it's got concussion bombs. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Question for both of you. Seriously, do you think do you think three points is too cheap for the concussion bomb? No. No, they're they're priced all right. Like. You, you want you want other things to come into the game uh, so you've got to make bombs cheap enough so that people look at them and be like oh I'm going to take that so the problem That's with fair. a couple of the bombs at the moment is they're just too pricey like concussion uh, not concussion um, uh, the other one that's not proxy oh, uh, that one's the... Yeah, the other one that's not the proxy one at the moment is uh, a bit too expensive so no one's taking it so, was that sorry? Was that you? Yes. Okay, bad boy. At least let me know when you're doing that. No. Um, this is this is for a hot spice. <laughs> this is for uh, Aces High thing coming up. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Um, we'll just we'll quickly mention that uh, yes, we are doing a hyperspace event in about two weeks' time. I will get some more information on that. Um, but uh, that's what that's what uh, Odin is playing around with. Um, but anyway, look, we're going to go jump into the next one. Once again, congratulations to James for that round. Um, thanks for Jeff for joining us. Thanks, uh, Odin, for being on uh, commentary with me. And uh, Matt also, thank you for playing and, and, and joining us. Oh, thanks for putting it all together. Thanks, guys. All right. We're going to get ready for the next game. We're going to get that underway. We'll be back in about 15 more minutes. Cool. Cheers, Nobby. Thanks a bunch.